Hello everyone, welcome back to today's video. In today's video, we are going over every Star Wars skin in Fortnite. Now, I did do this video a few months back, but we've had an addition to the encyclopedia, so every time this gets added in, I will make a new video because it's more of a, like a, think of it like a index. We gotta have everything in it. So let's just go ahead and start off with it. This time around, I will be showcasing every glider and pickaxe and just all that stuff. <clears throat> but I have a confession to make. I'm missing one Star Wars item. And I hate that. It is the Mandalorian glider that you get from you got from Mando's bounty. So that will keep me forever from having a full index of Star Wars items. But it's the one thing I'm missing, so we're just gonna have to go along with that, okay? Now, let's just get started with the skins. We got the Mandalorian here. Very awesome. We got the uh, 212th Battalion Trooper. Um, you know, this was Obi-Wan's, like, group, you know. And then we got the 501st. This is Anakin's group, led by Captain Rex. You know, Captain Rex, probably my top, in my top five favorite Star Wars characters. Love him, love him. He's awesome. Now, this is the one new skin we have to the Encyclopedia. I don't even think I'm using the right word, Encyclopedia. But we got Ahsoka. Um... Brand, this, like I said, this is the newest edition. She was a secret skin last season to go along with the release of the Ahsoka show, which I very much liked. We got Ahsoka's clone trooper, just the 501st trooper with Ahsoka's like, face painted onto it. So, that's it. Anakin Skywalker, the GOAT of Star Wars, the main character of Star Wars. Better than your trash sequels. Um, we got Boba Fett, another GOAT, top 10 character. Did not like him that much in his show, but I did love the Mandalorian episodes in his show. I did like the team up as well on the show. All right, now we got just a normal looking clone trooper. This is your uh, plant. Uh, I still love this space two design. It's a stormtrooper pretty much, but you know. Of course, on guard, we see this in a few arcs in the Clone Wars. Uh, I don't, I can't remember if you see him in the Revenge of the Sith. You probably do. I vividly remember this from the the wrong Jedi arc in the Clone Wars, where it was like Ahsoka was like put on trial for something she didn't do. Uh, we got Darth Maul here, uh, another goat. Very cool. Love that they brought him back in Clone Wars. He was a cool villain in Phantom Menace, but bringing him back made it so much better. Made him so much better. Darth Vader, my favorite character of all time, possibly, with Anakin Skywalker. Just put down by Spider-Man. Spider-Man is my favorite character, but Darth Vader's up there. Alright, we got Phoenix Shan. Um, you know, I only got her just to have all the Star Wars skins. Alright, now we got Finn. Finn? Pretty cool skin. You know, I feel like his character was definitely underutilized in the sequels, and that sucks, just like in the sequels itself. But, because, like, I feel like he should have been the main character of the sequels, because, yeah, a rogue stormtrooper, that, that's just cool, you know, that's just, that's cool. Han Solo. <clears throat> Sorry, I have something with my throat right now. Something's more wrong. But Han Solo, you know, you know Han Solo. That's all I got, so. Alright, now we got a normal Imperial Stormtrooper. Very cool. Then we got Chrysanthemum. Obviously, this guy was in the Book of Boba Fett. Uh, he was in a decent amount of it, I think. Yeah, it's been a while. Kylo Ren, probably my favorite character in the sequels, just because how he was used. Adam Driver is a very good actor. You know, he's like A tier, A list actor. He's, he's really good at acting, but doesn't help the sequels that much. Um, Leia Organa, you know, she's Leia. A uh, very important character to the original trilogy, which I still love that trilogy. And Return of the Jedi has one of the greatest endings to a movie ever. Um, and then we also got Return of the Jedi Luke. Now, I remember when it got leaked that they were adding the original main three to the, of the uh, original trilogy to the game. I was praying that Luke would get a Return of the Jedi style, not just this style. Because we all knew this would be a style he got. Then they added this, and it just looks awesome. And even him with his Jedi robe looks awesome. I wish they would have made it more like uh, uh, Mandalorian Season 2 finale with the black robe, but I still love it. <clears throat> now we got Obi-Wan Kenobi. Um, probably one, of, probably the best actor to grace Star Wars. Um, Ewan McGregor, obviously. He loves Obi-Wan. He, he holds Obi-Wan a very special place in his heart. He loves the character, and he's amazing. All right, now we got Padme Amidala. Um, obviously, this is the wife of Anakin Skywalker, and if I lost her, I would become Darth Vader too. Um, we got Rey, Palpatine. So yeah, that's cool. Sith Trooper, probably the best designed looking, like, tr like a, uh, like, 
how do I say this? Trooper. I'll say that because like this design is so cool. Like I love it. I have two of these guys in my life. I got one for Christmas and then then I bought one at GameStop because he just looks so cool. Look awesome. Wolfpack Trooper. This is obviously along of Commander Wolf. And then the final skin is Zori Bliss. I did this pretty quickly in about five minutes. Now let's go over uh, the back blings, which I think is a little bit less. Now the Star Wars back blings, <laughs> they kind of suck. Along with their uh, their pickaxes are the worst, but let's just get through this. Now there are some Easter eggs on all these. Is this Obi ones? I can't tell if this is Obi ones or Luke's. This is the Obi wan because like I thought it might have been. Anyway, oh well that. I did not see the lightsaber there. Um, you got Obi-Wan's lightsaber on that. You got Obi-Wan's iconic blade. Uh, Star Wars binoculars. And one of those... Uh, I don't know what these are called on Tatooine. But they just... They, they're there. Oh, it's this... Hunt clan symbol. I feel like this is probably something to do with Chrysanthemum. It could be Fennec Shand as well. I don't know. Uh, I think this is... Either Anakin's or it doesn't say on the description. It just says okay. If it's saying it's gifted a Padme, I feel like this is Padme's backling. I could be wrong, but uh, this is obviously the necklace Anakin made Padme in the Phantom Menace and he gifted it to her because Anakin thought Padme was beautiful. I 100% agree. Uh, we got Jedi Holocron. Um, obviously, you know, if you know Star Wars, you know what this is. You know the secret. Kaloran's cape. I used this on a lot of skins when it first came out. I don't know why. I just did. Millennium Falcon. He also had, and it also has uh, Han's lucky dice. Obviously, we saw kind of the origin of these in the Han Solo movie. Ahsoka's back bling. This is the uh, the daughter, pretty much in like a bird form. The, uh, we'll be seeing more of this thing in season two of Ahsoka. All right, now this is the. Uh, Go Mythosar Signet. I don't know who this went with. Chapter 3, Season 1. Yeah, I have no clue who this went with. Man, who did this go with? It didn't go with Boba Fett, did it? No. I don't know. Alright, now we got R2-D2. Um, I use this back bling with Anakin. Heck, I think this is... No, this is original trilogy. I use this with Anakin. Pretty sure this was Luke's back bling. Alright, now we got a Republic Army backpack. Um, pretty much this just carries clone supplies in the clone where we, I think, clone uh, trooper Jesse used it. I think I remember him seeing that on the, uh, what's that one arc? In the Clone Wars of General Crow, one of the best arcs in TV history. Um, yeah. Obviously, this is the Sith probe. We saw this in the Phantom Menace, so Darth Maul used it to hunt down and get some videos of kids. Um, so the trooper blaster, back bling to the uh, this is also an age restricted item because it's a gun, but we use guns in Fortnite, so I don't know. Uh, we got the child baby out of my main back bling, it's just awesome, love the guy. Uh, Jedi Order, this is the symbol, resistance symbol, Sith symbol, still goes hard. Um, training remote, now this is this could have been Luke's back bling as well, I don't know. This is the thing we see in like uh, what's it called? I mean, it's I'm not getting it now all of a sudden. Oh crap, what is it? A New Hope. We see this in A New Hope. We see Luke training with the lightsaber, like deflecting the little blast I think shoots out. Viper Pro Droid. Um, we see this in Empire Strikes Back. You know, it kind of spies on the face. We see, I think, Han or Chewie destroy it in an Empire. It's been a bit. Alright, now we got. Uh, uh, Boba Fett's uh, jetpack, jetpack, yeah, and we got his awesome looking cannon at the top of that thing. This thing's always pretty cool when he use, when he uses it. Um, yeah. Now we're getting on to the worst part of these Star Wars skins, and that is their pickaxe because they refuse to make a Star Wars pickaxe where it is a um, what's it called a lightsaber. They refuse. Then we get crap like this, like what? And this. Okay, this is just sad, by the way. I also made that clear. Sad. All right, now Ahsoka Staff. This makes sense. We saw this at the end of uh, Rebels finale. I still think Rebels is overrated. It's 
crap. It's garbage unless it has like Ahsoka Rex and Vader in it. Uh, when was this used? I think this was used of oh, Electric Death. Bounty Hunter's Arsenal. This might have been Leia's pickaxe. And this is Anakin's iconic fusion cutter that he used in, I think, Attack of the Clones. Uh, Graffy Sick, this is one of Boba Fett's newer weapons in the show that he made. I did like the origin episode of this thing. Uh, Maul's Polex. Yeah. Obi-Wan's iconic blade. This is Rey's quarter staff. I actually kind of like, I actually really like this stuff. You see, I liked Rey in Force Awakens, but then they made her like a Mary Sue at the end. And if you look at bad of that term, I do not care. She learned all that and beat Kylo Ren in that scene. That was wild that she can do that. <laughs> and then we got, uh, what's this called? I love this pickaxe. Riot Control Baton. This was removed for a while for like some reason I forgot, but this is probably one of the best pickaxes in the game. I love it. Um, and then the Royal Naboo Staff, I guess makes sense. There's not much you can give Padme for a pickaxe. Now this... This got me so mad, by the way. I want to make this very clear. I was disappointed out of my mind when I saw this. This was Darth Vader's pickaxe. It was like, who's going to win the fight? Obi-Wan's Iconic Blade or this checker piece? Like, I don't know. And then we got the... This is probably... Uh, this might have been Luke's pickaxe. I think this was Luke's pickaxe. Um... Fibro Scythe, Knights of Renblade. Oh yeah, this was in the uh, Rise of Skywalker. Uh, Viper Staff. Uh, Boba Fett. Where? Okay, this is definitely Han Solo's. All right, gliders. Now gliders, they do not disappoint with Star Wars gliders. They give you exactly what we want, pretty much. We got Anakin Jedi Interceptor. Um, very nice. Uh, this is in. Uh, a little bit of the Clone Wars, I think, and mainly in Return, and not Return, but Revenge of the Sith. That's pretty cool. Boba Fett Starship, probably the one I've used the most out of all these. It's just so cool. I love Boba Fett's ship. It is the Slave One. Slave One. Slave One. Slave one. This is Fennec Shan's ship. I think I mo mainly remember this from that episode she was in in the Bad Batch. Yeah. yeah. Alright, now we got the first or. If you get that little funny sound it makes. Uh, first Order TIE Fighter. Very cool design. First Order did have some pretty good designs. Jedi Interceptor could have just named it Obi-Wan. Alright. And I do not remember this in Clone Wars. But I do remember this in like uh, Revenge. So, yeah. uh, this is the Imperial Shuttle. Now, why the wings do not fully go down when I'm gliding in game? I do not hate, I like, I mean, well, yeah, no, I hate it. Yeah, I hate it. The Millennium Falcon, this was the first out of the bunch here, at least. I remember seeing this in one of the presents for, like, the the Fortnite Christmas thing. Being so excited to get it. Naboo Yacht, so this is Padme's yacht. Um, not yacht, but, you know, it's like a ship. I think this was Attack of Clones. No, was, it, was that a different ship or not? I don't know. She has, like, two ships I can think of. Razor Crest, uh, gotten pretty popular over the years thanks to the Mandalorian. Now, we, the, the Razor Crest is no longer with us, but, oh well. Sith Infiltrator, awesome ship, like the design. Um, really looks like I had the Lego set. The Whisper, one of the best designed ships in Star Wars. Kylo Ren had some of the best designs, like I said. Vanguard Squadron, X-Wing. Um, I remember they randomly added this for Star Wars Squadrons. I was kind of like, man, no new, no new skins, but okay. Alright, the, the, now this thing has about 20 Lego sets, so yeah, it's cool. Uh, Y-Wing, uh, very nice. I do like the, the newer sequel design for it, I must say. I think it's very nice. Alright, Contrails, I think there's literally only one. Yes, it is the TIE Fighters, the Squadrons, the Darth Vader's. Alright, now let's go through emotes. I don't think there's too many emotes, but there might be. Alright, this is easy amount here. Alright, Vader Saber. This is the way. This is the way. Protector. The Child. Pew Pew. Traitor. 
Now, if you do have the uh, pickaxe, pick, the little pickaxe equipped, it will like show that, and it looks awesome. Trooper formation. I hope one day we do get a phase one clone trooper skin. Just one day. Watchful companion. Lord Vader. Awesome. I think this is like a. Ah, oh, this looks like a his comic book. Yeah. Resistance. Thumbs up. Uh, ready, Rebel. Obi Wan's mother. May the force be with you. Maul's malice. <laughs> Little T six shuttle. I love I love emotes like this. Little speeder bike is one of the best emotes in this game. It's I love it. It's just awesome. I also really like the design of these things. That's very nice. Uh, Dark Side Rising. Now this looks more like his concept art for Darth Vader. Concept art of Darth Vader. He his suit is bluish, and I want the figure. I have a Funko Pop that's very good. Darth Maul Snar. Snarl. Galactic Roundel. Yeah, and when they're naming some of these things, it's kind of random, but alright. Imperial March, best team in the game, probably. Lightspeed Interceptor. Lil <laughs> Pod Racer. I know maybe, maybe this is the best team in the game, but I don't know. Dark Side, probably one of my most used emotes. Um, Army of the Clones. Epic. Oh, I didn't. Oh, it looks like it. Oh, well. Now, Star Wars. These are mainly just clone troopers, so we're just going to get this through. 12, uh, 212th Legion, 501st Legion, Anakin, Ahsoka's Guard, Coruscant Guard, Wolfpack, Ahsoka's, Darth Maul, uh, Kamino's Finest, this just looks like normal, and then we got Darth Vader. I don't know what, I forgot which one of these you had to do, you had to spend like 15 minutes in Discord, but I don't know. It was kind of random, but yeah. That's about it though. Uh, we can look at loading screens real quickly, I guess. I don't think there's many. Yeah, there's not that many. Uh, oh, Fulcrum Ascending. You can see you're kind of coming out of that uh, world that they're in, like episode 3 and 4, I think. Yeah. Kenobi Surrounded. Just surrounded by IO guards, pretty much. Um, pretty good. Loading screen right here. No, don't archive it. Uh, pretty cool. We got. Padme and Anakin with that weird looking lightsaber. The Fall of the Republic. This is like beautiful art right here. Beautiful. Mando. Very good, I must say. Now we have probably one of the most hardest looking like Darth Vader artworks ever. This is something else, man. Darth Vader, when you make him look cool, you make him look cool. It's hard to not make him look cool. Now, that's about all we have to show off today for Star Wars. The only reason I get all the Star Wars stuff is because Star Wars is my favorite. I love it. Would prefer being in someone else's hands than Disney, probably. But I'm glad Dave Filoni is starting to take over Lucasfilm. And I think that's better for Star Wars and all. But yeah. I'm going to take a picture for the thumbnail real quickly. And, uh, yeah. I hope you all enjoyed this little video. I liked that. I'll, I will always update this when there are more made. Next time, I might wait before there's one skin added, um, just so, but yeah, hope y'all enjoy this video, goodbye.